Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the animations in PowerPoint. So let us uh, open the PowerPoint. I had a one PowerPoint. So I'll open that and I will demonstrate the animations in that PowerPoint. And there are two options in our PowerPoint that is the transitions and the animations. So there is a slight difference between these two. First, the transitions are the effects that can be applied on slides and the animations are the effects that can be applied on the content of the particular slide. Now we'll see the animations. In the previous session, we have seen about these transitions. I will uh, place this uh, transitions link in the description section. You just follow that. And now in this session, we'll go with the animations that is effects that can be applied on text on the or the content in the slide. So here I'm having some three slides. So in the three slides, I'm having some content. So we'll apply the animation for this content. So go to the animations menu in the menu bar and you can see all these are the different animations and here the animations are divided into four categories. One is the entrance, emphasis, exit and the motion paths. So we'll see one by one. So this is the entrance. So how the text should be appeared in the entrance, right? And emphasis means after appearing the text, is there any effect need to be applied on that particular text and how the text should be disappeared that is exit apart from these three there is a one more option called motion paths right so we can select one among these two or we can go with the more entrance effects emphasis effects exit effects and a motion paths if you click on this one we will get a more number of uh, entrance effects so these are all the entrance effects right and if you are not satisfied uh, oh, sorry if, if you are if you want to uh, go with the emphasis so go with the more emphasis effects and you'll get a more number of options similarly we'll get a more number of exit effects and also more number of motion paths so you can apply the uh, uh, these effects to the text so first to select the text which you want to apply for the animation and you can select the effect for the entrance right so i will select this wipe see this is a wipe and you can go with the preview so that it will be previewed here and if it is a float see float and if it is a fly this is a fly okay so fade so this is a fade and for each and every option i mean for some of the effects there will be an effect options so if you go with the fly in so go with the effect options so that you can specify the direction where it should be fly so from bottom from bottom left from left see these are all the effects so i'll go with the from left so the content will be displayed on the from left to right so this is the entrance and if you want to give the emphasis effect that means after uh, appearing the text is there any effect you need to apply then if you select the emphasis automatically that particular uh, the previously selected effect will be overrided so in order to avoid that one just click on the add animation you can see here the number one that is the first effect okay and also at the slide you can see the star that um, that implies some sort of effect is applied on that particular slide and click on the add animation so that the it will not be replaced the new effect will be created go with the add animation and go with the emphasis that means after appearing the text what should be done right so i will go with the spin see this is a spin right now you can observe here one and two so if you click on one fly in two spin right and go to the next one and you can also go with a, uh, a exit that is a fly out this is a fly out so you can observe here one two three 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 effects have been added and if you go with the preview so you can see see this is a appearing at the entrance and after entrance this is a emphasize and after emphasize next fade out right so exit so three animations have been done so you can also give the options by going with the animation pane so you can change the order or there are a lot of options here see these are all the options available for the first option that means entrance 
so this is for second that is emphasis and the third is for exit right and now you can go with the uh, see on on click if you uh, select this one start on click until you click the mouse the text will not be appeared and start with previous so uh, immediately with the previous effect it will be displayed start with uh, start after previous so one after another it will be displayed okay one after another it will be displayed see start on click and next after previous and uh, next also i will go with the uh, after previous and now you can apply the slideshow so mouse click so done and all the rest of the things will be happens with the previous effect so only for the first time i have clicked the mouse and all the remaining that is emphasis effect and as well as the uh, exit effect will be automatically executed with i mean immediately after the first one so like this we can also give the order that means how it should be displayed on click or with previous or after previous and go with the effect options you can change the directions as well as you can give the duration how much duration the effect should be so it is uh, normally it's a uh, 0 0.5 seconds i will go with the uh, 3 seconds and i will ex execute so you can observe see the 3 seconds it may it will take the 3 seconds to complete complete the uh, animation right that is called a duration that's called the duration and coming to the delay see after the uh, present one there will be some sort of delay and that will be applied see you can see the first one so within after the three seconds delay it appears and next after three seconds delay the emphasis after three seconds delay the exit so we have given the three options for entrance exit and emphasis so for every option there is a some two seconds delay we have given some two seconds delay so this is how we can also apply the delay right so duration means the effect the duration of the effect and delay means after that particular delay the effects will be given right and there is a if you want to apply the same animation for the next slides you need not select all these things for the next content so here you can observe there is no numbering on the text that means no effect is added here and also you can see you can see there is no star on, uh, at the second slide that implies no animation has been occurred so now if you want to apply the same sort of animation in the second one second slide you just select this one and select the content and you can have the animation painter the option animation painter select this animation painter go to the slide and select the text which you want to apply the same animation see you can observe here the same sort of animation is applied for this slide also now you can go with the slideshow see click on the mouse after three seconds the content will be displayed and after three seconds the emphasis effect will be done and after three seconds the exit effect will be done yes again mouse click right so we'll get the system module and the same effects will be applied for this also okay the same sort of effects so you can observe here the same sort of effects will be applied here so after previous and here also you can apply the after previous okay immediately after previous we'll get the same effects of the second next slides so you can select the content go with the animation painter go to the next slide and select the text to which the same content or the same effects to be applied so this is how we can use the animations for the content so transition is for slide animation is for the content on the slide right so hope you understood these animations how can we do, do these animations how can we apply the animations so if you are having any doubts regarding these animations feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching
थैंक यू वेरी मच